Recording. Sweet. I don't even know how to start this thing. It's what it is. Um. Hi. <laughs> Shut up. I'm talking to my sister behind the camera. She's just laughing at me because I don't. I've never done these things before. I guess it'll come with time. But I wanted to record my forced book haul that my sister wants me to become a reader. I say it like that, I don't even know why, because I'm not a reader. The only thing I read is Harry Potter, which we'll show you later because I'm not excited about these ones. But that's all I really read is Harry Potter because you don't really need more, I feel. But apparently that's wrong. So I went on a forced book haul. My sister spoiled me and got me a bunch of books. Um, and then I ordered a book because I got it on sale, which was amazing, Amazon. But I'll show you what it is because I'm just really excited and I've needed it for a very long time. And now I'm caught up. I have them all. But I'm really excited about these ones because they're just gorgeous on the inside. The artwork is amazing. And of course it's a good book. To be completely honest, I've only read this one once and I think I missed a few chapters because there's was dry to me back then but then it got good it's the only one i read once so i'll be reading this with my daughter especially for the fact that it's illustrated so i'm really excited i got it for 20 bucks instead of the 50. so i don't know if it's still going on but you get a nine dollar off coupon on there so look it up and then i got beauty and the beast i've never read this one but it was pretty and i saw someone else looking at the alice in wonderland one and just so you know, there's a Harry Potter one coming out in October. I haven't pre-ordered. I'm really excited. But let's see what this stuff is all about in here. Should have sometimes I wish I didn't wrap it. Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney movies. So I know every Beauty and the Beast is a little different. What is it? The Mina is it Mina Lena? Lima? Is that how you say it? But I'm really excited to read it, see if it differs from what the Disney movie is. I'm very particular on my Disney movies, but that's a whole other story. Um, but these editions have little things inside. So I'm really excited to see the Harry Potter one, especially because I don't know what they're going to do with that one, but I'm really excited. Hopefully they'll continue on doing all the all seven books but so excited to read it and then I've been seeing a lot of what are they book tubers I don't know having these editions and I didn't know they existed and so I needed to get it because they're gorgeous let's see sometimes they don't show the covers so but the philosopher's stone really pretty inside and all of them look have the stars in the corners of each individual one but I think the artwork on these books are really cool Fox is one of my favorites Phoenix is but this one's really cool as well and got a stag for the prisoner of Azkaban fire there's like I like the classics and the original of the American versions but these ones are really cool too and then the order of the Phoenix I love it I just love the coloration of it and then of course you have Snape on the back which I mean I love Snape but I'm not a Snape and Lily uh, shipper, that's for sure. Not at all. Um, Haplid Prince, which is gorgeous as well. And Draco on the back, one of my favorite characters. And then, of course, Deathly Hollows. I'm not really a big fan of purple, but this one's really nice. Nice and pretty. Of course, the spines, and they're nice and soft. And I don't know. I just love my hair. I'm not really a booker, but I like the softness of 
the pages. So those are my Harry Potter ones. And then, let's see, my sister told me I have to read this one. She loaned me her copy, but then she told me not to bend it. And so it scares me to borrow her books because she's very particular. So I have to read this one first is what she told me to do. Um, and I guess she's going to be, is it this one that's going to be in mm -hmm. Provo, Provo um, in the end of next month. So maybe if I read it by then, I can actually ever sign it. I don't know. We'll see. Apparently she's a good author. And then she gave me the second copy of hers because she got the new editions, which I actually prefer the newer ones. This one isn't that pretty, but this one is. So if I like it, maybe I'll end up getting the whole series with the same cover. It's unfortunate that it's soft paperback because I don't really like paperback, but it is what it is. Then we got Rules for Vanishing. So I'm really excited to read that one. It just seems, seems interested, interesting, except for they spell Sarah wrong. My name is Sarah and they spell it without the H and it just looks weird. So, but I'll deal. What are you gonna do? And then I got Heartless. I love the cover. It's just pretty. Apparently it goes, I don't have to read it after all the other ones. Because this is the first one I got. Let's see. And then I got The Last Magician. There was a second one too. I haven't gotten, obviously. I haven't read the first one. But it sounds interesting as well. I'm not used to going into details of what every book is. But if you're interested in that, I can do another video later on about a few books at a time. And then The Memory Thief, I was looking at Amazon, this one popped up after I looked at um, two of my other books that I wanted, which I'll share later. And it just seems interesting, caught my attention, so, and then I just like the map inside. It's pretty cool. I like books where you can actually see where things are, because you have no idea in these imaginary worlds where everything is, so... It's interesting to see that. Um, my little brother told me to read Percy Jackson because it's better than That's the movie. Easy. I liked the movie. The author doesn't even acknowledge the movie. Oh, well. So we'll see. I wouldn't either. Um, I liked the movie. I had no issues with it. You didn't read the book. But then I'm not really all into Greek mythology either. I mean, it's interesting, but I'm not like one of those hardcore... That's me and Harry Potter. Like, don't mess with my Harry Potter. So, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> then I got Loki because I'm a big Marvel movie fan. Not necessarily comics, but movies. And I love Loki. So, this one should be interesting to see how it goes. I just like the edges. Deckled. Deckled. Mm -hmm. I'm learning all these book terms. I don't know. Like to be, TBR, to be read. I don't know. I'm sure you know if you're a bookie. The Guinevere Deception. I love this cover. It's really pretty. I don't really like gold too much. Um, but I'm st starting to kind of grow on me a little bit. I don't know. I still don't wear like too much jewelry that's gold. Except for the Zelda bracelet I want is gold. I don't know. Naturally. I mean, that has to be gold. Anyway, so I mean, this seems really interesting. And I mean, they all sound interesting, obviously, which is why I have them. So, I mean, I'm not just going to read a book if it doesn't sound interesting to me. Um, I don't even remember getting this one. Oh, I'm supposed to co- Buddy Read. Buddy Read. That's what it is. I guess she has, these are my copies. Yep. Um, I'm supposed to buddy read The Cruel Prince. I mean, it looks alright. And Ember. An Ember in the Ashes. Buddy read. I didn't know it existed. I mean, guess it makes sense. But. Who knows? Um, I just liked the cover of this. 
it sounds interesting as well. I need to find other words for interesting because that's just really annoying. Um, but I love phoenixes. Um, my daughter's middle name is Phoenix. So from my heart, I call her my little fox. But it sounds really good. So we'll see how it goes. But I just, I really love, I really love the cover, which is what drew me to it, which most things do. If the book looks interesting, maybe I'll read it. I don't know if that's how you guys are, but that's how I am. Uh, we set the dark on fire. Again, just looked interesting that I read what it was about. And I said, okay, sure. She's going to buy me books anyway. Might as well, I guess. Um, there will come a darkness. This one looked good. And my sister ended up getting it. It was 50% off at Barnes & Noble. I don't know if it still is, but check it out. Um, so we ended up both getting it. Maybe we can buddy read this one too. Um, but 50% off, you can't really pass that up at all for 50% off. Again, has the little map inside, which I like. So it'll be a good one. This is just a pretty... Um, edition, collector's edition of A Court of Thrones and Roses. I just think it's really pretty. Of the trees. Again, it's gold, which I'm not a fan of, but hey, it's nice. And then inside has the gold, kind of like a gold foil. And then the pages have some nice decorative artwork on there as well. So, I don't know what the book's about, but it looked pretty, so I had to get it. <laughs> I will be completely honest, but I think my sister's read it. No, she hasn't read it. Um, but apparently Sarah J. Mass is a good author, so it shouldn't go wrong. I mean, some authors are really good, and they should, but that's, that's another thing. Um, and then these ones I got for Christmas... Obviously, Prisoner of Azkaban. Really excited because that goes with my other two. And now my fourth one that I have. And then I got this one for my daughter. Beetle and the Bard. Interactive. And these stories are a little weird, but they're cute. I like them. And then I got these ones. Well, my sister got this one for my kid. Um, so I'm really excited. She doesn't really... I just like the theme of this, you know, being comfortable in your own skin. My daughter has a disability, so it'll be nice to have her kind of be able to feel okay in her skin and not different. Um, so I'm really excited to read this to her. And then same with this one, the Galaxy News You. Just fit this. This just fits her like perfectly. She loves Star Wars. She loves Rey, but it's just the artwork in it is amazing. And it pretty much just, there's only one, one you in the universe. So it's, it's really nice and it'll keep her attention. There's not too many words. She doesn't have a good attention span, but, and Chewie's her favorite along with the droids. And then this one was one of those, you spend this much money, you can get this for $7.99. So why not? <laughs> um, I have a spending problem when it sales. It's not that great, but. Um, so I got that for her. And then these ones, uh, this one's the first one, is a Beauty and the Beast-ish type book. Um, I got this one after I got the Audible version and I was listening to it at work while I groomed and surprisingly I really liked it. It was really good, so I had to go buy it. And so then I was like, might as well just buy the second one too. And then I had that one on Audible as well. And I already finished this one, so I've already finished these two. Um, this one it was really good, but then I thought I was gonna go in a totally different direction and then it didn't. Um, doesn't mean it's bad, because it's still really good. It just wasn't what I expected, which some people really like if it doesn't go exactly the way it's not like a hallmark movie where you know exactly what's going to happen 
Um, so then I want the third one, but then this is why I don't read books because it doesn't come out till 2021. So now I have to wait and I don't really like that. I don't like it. But um, totally recommend doing these ones, especially if you're into the whole curses and Beauty and the Beast type stuff. Um, they're really good characters. I really like Ren and Grey. Um, I don't really know which one I like more, especially after reading this one. So we'll see. I still have to decide, but they're really good. Uh, so check it out if you guys are into that sort of thing. And that's my book haul, forced book haul. And then I guess it turned into a kind of a not forced. Might as well read it. It's kind of like my geek came out with my nerd with my Zelda Embrace love. It. I'm embracing it. Embracing it to the fullest. So we'll see. I got my first book box coming next month. Fairy loot. Hmm. Yeah, it had something to do with curses and this book. I don't know if it's just going to be something in the box with about this book or what it's going to be, but we think. I just I think I, I like this book, so I saw that they were having one, so I was like, hey, might as well get the box and see how I like it. So when I get that in the mail, I'll go ahead and open that up and we'll see what's all in there. But yeah. I guess that's my haul and when I get a bookshelf I can show you my bookshelf which apparently is cool to do I do have a bookshelf in the car but we'll see anyway thanks for staying with me in this awkward video because I don't know what I'm doing but hey if you stay this long congrats you get a star and we'll see you later. Thanks.